Okay, so I'm ready to mark my role on Google Classroom. Um, this comes courtesy of Georgia in our faculty who taught us how to do this. So <laughs> here we go. This is how we uh, mark the role. I'm inside my Year 11 Google Classroom. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Create. And I'm going to create a question. And then the question is going to be, the, the title of the question is going to be Period 5, 25th of the 3rd. 2020, which is today's date. Um, now, instructions. I've actually, I've actually already pasted in uh, my instructions in my notepad. Notepads are really handy to just to type some quick instructions in. Um, they're less complicated than a Word document. Um, if you just go into the search bar and on your on your computer, and if you type in Notepad, there it is, and up comes your Notepad. Now I'll close that away. So I've typed those instructions in and I, I, I'll save those into a folder somewhere. So I just control C those out of there. So I don't have to rewrite it every time. I made sure that statement is a generic one. It doesn't say year seven, it doesn't say year nine. So I've got question is today's date and what period it is. I don't need to say what class it is because I'm inside the classroom for that particular class. Uh, given a quick instruction, which you can read there. Over here, I want to check multiple choice. And I only want one option, and that is yes. There's no point putting no, because if they're not there, they're not there. Uh, and then I'm just going to make it worth one mark. And I'm going to make the date due today, because it's today's date. Uh, keep in mind that Google Classroom puts the due date automatically for, to the next day, so you need to make it today's date. And down here we go time, and uh, period five... Uh, ends at 3:05 or 3:10 or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna be generous. I usually go a half an hour beyond. Um, so I'm gonna go um, 3:30 p.m. And I sort of just click here and it fixes it up. And the topic I'm gonna create a topic and I'm gonna call it class role. You could call it attendance. I don't care what you call it really, but I'm gonna call it class role. And see where it says here, students, students can see the summary. They don't need, we don't need to advertise to them how many of them are actually going on. I'd rather keep that a secret. And there we are. And um, that's ready to go. And then I hit, hang on, this, my record thing is right in the way. I hit post. And it's posting right now. And so there it is, class roll. The kids will just indicate to me at the moment, I've got 23 who aren't, who, who obviously they haven't checked in yet. But if I go on to this morning's post from year 12, um, I've got nine handed in. So there's my class role, just there. So a sign, I've got three who didn't come to class, and I've got nine who've signed in. There you go. And that's it.